Hello, my name is Aaron Lauer, and I'm a senior solutions engineer here at PurePort. Today, we're going to create an AWS Direct Connect and a transit interface that can be used to attach that Direct Connect to an AWS Transit Gateway. To get started, we're going to create our AWS Direct Connect in the PurePort console. We're going to create this in the US East region and we're going to peer it in our Washington DC location. It has to be a private connection for a transit interface. And it has to be a one gig or higher connection for AWS to be able to provision a transit interface once we get in the AWS console. So we're going to pick this one gig HA connection and I'm going to put in my AWS account ID. I'm going to go ahead and accept the default ASN. And from here, we're just going to create this connection. While that is provisioning, we're going to go ahead and go over to our uh, AWS console and go to the direct connect section. And before we can provision these virtual interfaces, we have to accept both the connections. And this can take a minute or two for this to complete. Okay, now that those connections are available, we're going to go ahead and create a direct connect gateway. And we're going to use the same ASN that we used in the PurePort console. And that's pretty much immediately available. Next, after this, we're going to create a virtual interface. In the Direct Connect console, we're going to create a virtual interface. And in previous videos, we showed how to create a, uh, a private type interface. In this case, we're going to create a transit interface. Um, the transit interface is required to uh, to use the transit gateway. We're going to create that off of our primary connection here. We're going to use my existing AWS account. We're going to select the Direct Connect Gateway that we just created. For the VLAN, we are going to go back to our AWS connection, Direct Connect that we created in the PurePort console, and we're going to use our primary gateway, and we're going to choose copy this gateway, uh, this VLAN. And then the ASN is going to be the PurePort ASN for this interface. We need to expand the additional settings for the BGP information. We're going to get um, our router peer IPs and the Amazon router PRP, uh, peer IPs from this. And in this case, this also comes from the uh, PurePort console. We're going to get the PurePort IP from here and put it up here. The Amazon one from here. And put it there. And we're going to get our BGP password from here. And we're going to select Create Virtual Interface. Since that's our primary connection, we'll create our secondary connection while that's being created. And we'll go. We'll create it off the secondary connection this time. Attach it to the same Direct Connect gateway. Go back to the console to get our VLAN. And our ASN. We'll create that interface. And from here, these interfaces will get created by AWS and attached to the Direct Connect Gateway. 
after these become available, you then can go into your VPC, provision the transit gateway. Um, one thing to note with the transit gateway, when asked for its ASN, its ASN cannot be the same ASN that you used for your direct connect gateway. So it has to be something new. Um, this uh, is a new, new requirement that you haven't had to worry too much about in the past. Uh, now you have to manage your ASNs a little bit more closely um, since you're going to be peer, could be peering across multiple regions with those direct connect gateways. But once you do that, you then can um, associate your uh, that transit gateway with this direct connect gateway and attach your VPCs to that transit gateway. And then you can begin using this direct connect to route traffic to your private network, uh, leveraging a transit gateway and direct connect gateway. Thank you.